Yeah, hello there. This is Jan from Kislets reporting from the Super Booth in Berlin, and we're here at the Random Source booth. It's uh, Ralph. Yes, hi, Kislets. This is Ralph from Random Source. Um, it, you have a, a, a system uh, in a, a, a different sizes, right? It's a four units high modular system and a Euro rack. Can you tell a, a little bit about? how this started and how this came about, what you're doing? Okay, sure, yes. We do Serge Modular in uh, two formats. In the original Serge format, which is for you and has the typical banana jacks. And we also do uh, Euro format now, 3U, uh, which has the typical Euro jacks. But other than that, the systems are identical, the circuits are identical, and the sound, of course, is absolutely identical. So mm -hmm. you get the full search system in either format. Just a preference. Okay. And, and what, what is the philosophy behind the, the search? Uh, why, why do you want to make these modules? Well, the, the search system is quite unique then in a way that it's basically an, an instrument. It is uh, something, a typical, uh, typical West Coast approach uh, that was developed in the end of the 70s, beginning of 80s by Serge in California. And uh, we think it has not lost uh, any of its appeal. And uh, Random Source is trying to uh, push this even further. So we're working with Serge. Uh, also on not only bringing these modules but also improving them using parts that haven't been available back then for better audio specs, increased ranges, etc. So uh, this is quite an exciting project because this is uh, essentially the fourth generation of Serge. Right. And, and you're cooperating with uh, the inventor himself, right? Exactly, yes. Right. So we're in close contact with Serge and, uh, and uh, we discuss any uh, sort of uh, additions, changes, and uh, also some new module ideas, and uh, right. so it's uh, quite exciting. Yeah. How, how, how does he feel about the whole new modular renaissance? Is he happy with that? Yes, I think he's very excited that uh, not only uh, sort of his, uh, his uh, projects and his, his work is uh, brought to uh, and made available uh, now even in Euro format, but also that uh, uh, focus is really on even improving it and carrying it further rather than mm. simply preserving it and so right right because they're instruments not museum pieces right yeah exactly and also it's great to see for me it feels often like a, a restoration of an old masterpiece where you see if you uh, swap some parts and do some adjustments and you see what uh, the dual slope generator for instance uh, has amazing audio capabilities and right. uh, and uh, they're just uh, unveiled then uh, in in this new version and uh, that's that's very exciting I find. Okay, uh, I had a search once and uh, one of the modules I really liked is the smooth and stepped uh, generator. Can you tell us a little bit about its function? Yeah, this is actually one of the the icon uh, search modules. I guess it's uh, also one that's uh, hard to understand. It has two sides which are essentially the same. So it's a slew generator, but it's much, much more. It, um, it, one side is smooth, the other side is stepped, which includes a sample and hold, but uh, so mere words are not really uh, able to grasp all of that you can do with it. So you can use it mm -hmm. as an oscillator, you can use it as a filter, yeah. you can uh, sort of patch it for very weird uh, waveforms and shapes. So. Uh, sample and hold. Yes, so it's it's really uh, the, the best way is no, really not to think it, but try it out. You can use it as sort of a ring modulator. It's uh, a very very deep module and probably also one of them, one of the modules that are not so intuitive to get into because if if you start uh, if you approach it just thinking okay I want a slew generator and I want try to understand it, it's not necessary really helpful it uh, makes more sense yeah. and that's probably true for the entire search system to sort of explore it and give uh, give chance uh, give chance a chance so uh, yeah 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 I understand, I understand. Uh, so, so it's it's uh, it's up to the user yeah. how to use it yeah. really it's and very the, flexible and the, and the SSG for instance is also something where um, where we made some changes that originally it only went up to about two kilohertz and uh, the random source version now goes up to about four kilohertz. And this is, uh, if you use it in the audio range, is a, is a big difference. Yeah. So if you use it as a filter, for instance, uh, this is clearly audible because all the overtones and the 
high frequencies are still preserved and um, so it's, um, or you can use it for FM-like things and uh, you, you gain quite a lot of range by that. All right. Um, yeah, I, I really, really like the tone of my search, but maybe that's um, something for another um, video. And, and uh, also, I see a lot of the search oscillators, new timber oscillator, um, and 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 the the dual and universal slope generator and uh, wave shapers. But maybe. Um, we could do that in another video with okay, some sure, video sure, sure. Yeah. and audio, right? Yeah. Thank you very much.